Welcome back to News 3 Today. November is National Diabetes Month. According to the American Diabetes Association nationwide, more than 38 million people are living with the disease and nearly 98 million have prediabetes. In the last 20 years, the number of Americans with diagnosed diabetes has more than doubled. Staggering statistics, but there's hope. Dr. Preeti Nath is an endocrinologist specialist with St. Joseph's Candler Physician Network. She joins us now with more. Thank you so much for being here Thank today. Thank you for having me. Well, listen, this is a very important topic that affects millions of people. You're mm -hmm. an endocrinologist and yeah. you specialize in um, care for people with thyroid cancer and diabetes. Mm -hmm. Tell us your role and what you do. Sure, as an endocrinologist, yes, we take care of anywhere from thyroid to adrenal glands. Just think of glands and we are there to help in any way. Um, in particular, we are diabetes specialists. Mm -hmm. So we definitely take on the more complicated cases um, for diabetes, people that have a difficulty getting under control and getting their blood sugars down to the normal range and then reducing their risk of complications that can happen with diabetes. In introducing you, yeah. I mentioned those startling numbers, but there are even more people who are walking around with diabetes who don't even realize it. Correct, yes. So you have folks that are high risk for developing type two diabetes in particular, they have prediabetes. So what that means, that diabetes in of itself is a chronic disease, one of the most common in America. What happens is glucose, which is what we use for energy, um, the levels are too high in our blood. So when that happens, we use insulin to help drive the glucose into our cells so we can use it for energy. But with type two diabetes and prediabetes, we are making the insulin, but we're not using it properly. And so already at the start with prediabetes, you're having changes to your body that are putting you at higher risk for those complications of diabetes. And so mm -hmm. diabetes, which one is preventable? So type two. Type so two that is preventable. Is the most common, 90% of people with diabetes have type two. Um, and it is preventable. Um, risk factors for that include um, increase in weight, so being overweight, being obese, leading a sedentary lifestyle, so not getting you know three times a week that the exercise that we need. So okay. let's talk about treatment because sure. that's your specialty as well. Yes. There's new technology out there every day. This is medicine is adv advancing. It's exciting. It yeah. really is, especially with diabetes technology. There's a lot of ways that we can assist in um, helping people get their diabetes under control and having it increase their level of stress because it takes a toll on us physically, but also mentally. There is a diabetes 30 but 36% of people with diabetes um, report that they have distress just from having the, the diagnosis alone because there's no break, there's no weekends off, right? So with the tech, we can have it at least be, you know, reduce the number, for example, of finger sticks by wearing a continuous glucose monitor. Um, if they are an appropriate candidate, maybe an insulin delivery system that'll help them. So most people think of pumps, but there's also devices that they could just simply wear and give themselves insulin that way. If left untreated, there are consequences that are devastating for people. Yes, so we get damage to our blood vessels when our blood sugars are too high or for hyperglycemic over a long period of time. And so with, those, um, with the damage to the blood vessels, that can lead to damage in our kidneys, our eyes, increase our risk of heart attack and stroke. Um, poor wound healing, people don't think of that um, often with diabetes, and then an increased risk of infections. Yeah, so people experiencing certain symptoms should get checked out. What are those symptoms yeah, in particular? Yeah, great question. Um, typically when you're experiencing hyperglycemia or high blood glucose, you might have an increase in thirst. You mm. might be going to the bathroom more often and urinating. Um, again, the poor wound healing or increased risk of recurrent infections that aren't typical for you. Extreme fatigue um, is another one, blurred vision. So these can all happen gradually, but certain folks develop them within months and they don't know what's going on with their body. And so, of course, they seek medical attention, but those folks that it's a gradual onset, it might be missed. And that's the, mm -hmm. why the need to be proactive about your health is so important. Exactly, the education is key. 90% of prevention is lifestyle changes. Okay, so before we go, we do want to yes. mention that St. Joseph's Candler has a Center for Diabetes Management, right? Yes. This is an outpatient clinic. It is, yes. 
Yes, it's excellent. So it's in the Wellness Center mm -hmm. at Candler. Um, and so there's a gym right there. You, meet, you can meet with a nutritionist. Um, there's even exercise experts there to help you get started as well. So it's a really great resource. Dr. Nath, thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Such important information to get out there to everyone. Thank, thank you. you. Thank again you for, for having me. And here's the information on your screen for diabetes resources at St. Joseph's Candler. You can call 912 819 6146 or 912 819 3944. Visit our website, wsav.com slash diabetes management or wsav.com slash diabetes support. So we have all the things, all the things that you need to know. Thank you once again. Thank you.